Okay, so this is my Tico. Um, I just had to take the extruder motor out of here. And to do that, you have to push down and twist. You have to unplug a bunch of these wires. And really, guys, I just didn't have enough hands to film it. Uh, but I'm going to tell you what I did. Um, I undid all the screws on the bottom side of this motor, which released the filament. And it's plugged in right now. But it, there's just this big old gap on that filament there. You can see where the, uh, the gear was just tearing into it, trying to move it, and made it too thin. It wasn't going anywhere. So now I'm going to attempt to heat up the hot end and pull out the filament from it and try and reload some, some more filament, see if I can get it printing. So far, it has not been working very well. All right, so I'm gonna heat it up, see how that works, get back to you. I'm so excited. I heated up the nozzle, grabbed it with this here needle nose, and pulled it out. All right, let's get it hooked up, load it up, try and print something out. All right, so I tried to load filament into it, and it just kept saying checking for filament. I pulled it in and out of here about three times. I uh, got fed up with it, because it obviously wasn't, I mean, detecting any filament. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell it to print, and hopefully it'll pull the filament through that way. And I'll just try and help push it through, do the dry print until we get something through. Well, it won't let me do that either, because when you start a print, it checks for filament as well. So basically, I am stuck on this. Okay, I unplugged my Tico, reconnected it to my computer, and uh, then it said it already had filament in it when I tried to load it. So now I'm manually uh, extruding filament through, and it looks like it's actually pulling on it, which is pretty sweet. Let me make sure it's got the least amount of resistance as possible. Uh, still nothing coming out of the nozzle. Let's go ahead and load some more. Manually, let's do 300 millimeters. Let's see if that's enough to get it going. I'm just gonna heat up that nozzle. Start pulling on the film. All right. I'll wait for it to come out. You see it coming out of there? Now we're getting resistance. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, so that probably means we need to increase the temperature. Let's get on that. Print settings. Oh no! Let's crank it up to two. 30. What is that? What is that? Manually load. I got it. 200 more. Yeah. I get it. Oh no. Oh no. Is it coming out? Yeah. I can't get it. Oh no, oh no. Let's do it. Uh oh. Wait again. 
Where are all the ones? What is that? They have parts. Oh, he's getting out. Right, I'm going to keep doing this until I can get a good flow out. And once I get a print started, I'll come back. Alright, so I was sitting here trying to extrude some out. I was wondering why it wasn't coming out. I looked up inside the carriage and there is our problem right there. A uh, connector feeder came undone. So I'm going to have to put that back up and uh, try again. Okay, so I unplugged everything, took everything off, and then uh, removed the jam and inserted new filament, manually feeding it, and uh, extruded it out, and now we're doing the demo print to see how it comes out. Well, as you can see here, I've got it up and running again, and I just want to note that this is not the filament that came with uh, the printer. This is not the gym filament. Uh, I kept having that stuff snap. So I just grabbed the only other spool of PLA I have, which is uh, this stuff right here. I like glow-in-the-dark filament. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, so that's what I'm using right now. Uh, I'll let you see what it looks like when it finishes up. Okay, so I've started a time-lapse. So after this little tidbit, I'm going to insert that time-lapse so you can see this finishing up. And then I was doing a little research on uh, preventing wobbling. So I'm going to uh, do uh, print an upgrade for this and then compare the test print here to the test print after the upgrade. Alright, enjoy the time lapse.
Okay, so I've printed off um, three of these things which uh, clip on to the motors that move uh, up and down. And I can already hear that it's like a little more focused. Uh, so I'm going to do the test print again and see how it comes out. Yeah, you can definitely hear a little more creaking. Hear that? That's from the uh, new parts. And we'll see if they do any good or break the printer. I don't know. Alright, we're back. Our uh, second test print of the evening is completed. Uh, we didn't have any layer shifting, which is good, which is basically what those new parts are meant to prevent. Uh, however, it does look an awful lot like the original. I don't know, it does look a little neater. I'll have to really try some different models. I don't know, I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, I got several prints off this evening. I thought this printer would never print again. So I'm pretty happy. Uh, next thing I'm going to work on is air cooling. Uh, and I'm going to have to figure out how to reduce the stringing probably with some retraction. Uh, let's get this off here and rotate them a little bit. That's about it guys, um, subscribe for more updates on all things 3D printing, have a good day.